Okay, this is Themes for You with my second tutorial. This is going to be how to make a lock background for your iPod Touch for an iPhone 4. Basically, mine won't work in my theme package here. It won't go onto my iPod for some unknown reason. So what I'm going to do is show you the other way to do it. What you want to do is open up Photoshop or any other imaging editing program. Okay, here I have one pre-made. I'm well with it today. Okay, what you want to do if you don't have one pre made, you're probably watching this video. Click on File, click on New, and change the settings to 320 width by 480 height. Make the background contents transparent. Okay, and click make sure this is on pixels. That'd be very bad if you didn't. Click OK. Now, what you want to do is create your image like I have done here, click File, Save As, Desktop. Now, what, would you, what we used to say is go to PNG. What we can now say is go to JPEG, because we have obviously a higher resolution iPod, which can therefore save higher resolution pictures. Then you want to save it as Lock Background. Oh, actually, no, in this case, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be locked background, so I'm just going to put boosh with a smiley face. No, I'm not allowed to do that, am I? So just boosh, okay? With it saved on JPEG. And I might as well just put the little thing there because it's being silly. And then save, okay? I'm going to put this on maximum because I can now for the iPod because it's a HD. Now, we've got this picture here, boosh. What you want to do is maybe have a look at it, my iPod, my computer's double clicking. What you want to do is you want to put this into pictures, just here, okay? Just like that on your computer, pictures, okay? I'll just delete that one. Then what you want to do is get your iPod, open up in iTunes, click on your iPod, click on photos, then slink, sync photos from. I'm just going to click, because I've only got one picture in my pictures, I'm just going to click on my pictures, all folders, and then sync. What this will do is basically sync your iPod, which is fine, it's syncing, we like that, okay? Backing up, and I think it should be done. Now? No, it's going to take a while backing up. So it's done that. Now what you want to do is go to Photos on your iPod, or iTunes, sorry, or iPhone even. Click on your picture, click Use As, and then Lock Screen. Now you have your theme with a custom lock screen, scroll, and whatever else you've put on it. Look at my other video for how to make a custom slider for your iPhone or iPod 4. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.